ACU entered the Saturday matchup with the number two team in the nation looking to end a nine-game road losing streak. But Sam Houston State had other plans on its homecoming as it racked up 590 yards of total offense on its way to a 48-21 victory. With sophomore quarterback Dallas Seeley returning from a concussion, the offense was able to put up 391 yards of offense itself, but struggled putting points on the board in the first half. Between the two teams, there were three interceptions in the first quarter alone. The Bearcats struck first when Alonzo McMillan picked off Seeley and returned at 17 yards to the ACU one-yard line. After a penalty on the return moved Sam Houston back to the 11, the ACU defense responded with an interception of its own as freshman Adonis Davis stepped in front of a Jeremiah Briscoe pass in the end zone to save a touchdown. The final interception of the first quarter was recorded by junior Sam Denmark, who stopped another Bearcats drive in ACU territory. Despite the three interceptions, it wasn't until late in the first quarter when Sam Houston finally found the end zone on an unconventional play that initially looked as if it might be Davis' second pick of the day. Instead, it went 69 yards for a touchdown and gave the Bearcats a 7-0 lead. The Wildcats were one, unable to put anything together in response, and on the Bearcats' ensuing drive, Briscoe found Nathan Stewart for the second time on the day from 16 yards out. However, SHSU's PAT attempt sailed wide and the score remained 13-0. The Bearcats would score on its next drive as well when they put together an 11-play 76-yard drive capped off by another Briscoe touchdown pass to take a 20-0 lead. Sam Houston scored again with under a minute to go on a 15-yard pass from Briscoe to Tyler Scott to push the lead to 27-0 at the half. Out of the locker room, ACU showed signs of life as Seeley found freshman Josh Fink from 8 yards out on the 8th play of the drive to cut the lead to 27-7 with 12-04 remaining in the 3rd quarter. But the Bearcats responded with back-to-back -to -back touchdowns from Remus Bulmer, including a 12-yard touchdown reception to extend the lead at 41-7. Briscoe also added another touchdown pass when he found Deion Hutchinson from 4 yards out to take a 41-point lead at 48-7 with 3.29 left in the 3rd. ACU got back-to-back -to -back touchdowns of its own as it scored the only points of the fourth quarter, beginning with a 14-yard pass from Seeley to DJ Fuller to cut the lead to 48-14. Later in the fourth, Seeley found Fuller again, but this time from 59 yards out to put the score at its eventual final of 48-21. Fuller finished with eight catches for 163 yards and two touchdowns as the Wildcats fell to 0-7 on the season. Wildcats return to Shotwell next weekend for their homecoming against Incarnate Word.